I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. This is your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 166. And today's episode, I'm really excited. We're going to talk about faith is a muscle. And here's why I want to talk about this, because I see so many people who lose hope um, and because they can't see what's going to happen next. And, you know, sometimes we don't realize that we have a faith muscle, right, that we got to build, we got to make stronger. And I just want to share some of my own experiences that have helped me to build my faith muscle, right? So. I haven't always had the strongest faith, right? And I'm still growing in my faith. I'm still building my faith muscle. You'll always be building it, right? Because here's the deal. Just like a regular muscle on your body, if you stop building the muscle, the muscle starts to go away eventually, right? But, uh, you know, as long as you continue to work that muscle, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and bigger. And and next thing you know, you're doing some good things, right? So, uh, so let me just share a little bit of my experience. I'll never forget when I moved to Rochester, New York, and I went to this church on, I don't know if it's still at that location. I have to look it up, but it's on Scottsville Road called Truth Ministry. There may be a different name now, but uh, that church, man, I'm talking Pentecostal, Holy Ghost filled, all that good stuff. And this is where I really got a chance to see miracles really happened right in front of me. I saw people who were deaf in one in, in their ears and they were able to hear after getting prayed for. I saw people who had lumps in their breast. They went and went to the bathroom and checked it and uh, the lump was gone, right? I saw people who walked in the door with medical documentation that their foot was broken and ran out the door, <laughs> ran around the church, right? Had crutches and everything. I mean, I've seen it all. I've seen it, right? So um, so that was really, um, e- even my own experiences I've had where, you know, I, 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 I felt, I heard the father tell me to sow a certain amount. And then, uh, you know, it was it it came back bountifully uh, a bountiful harvest right so you know my my point is just that um uh you, you know when you experience sometimes you got a couple things on this faith muscle number one is sometimes you just got to get to certain places where you can witness maybe you have to get uncomfortable get out of where you are uh, this has happened for me many times. I've had to go to different places. I, I remember my wife and I went to Moravian Falls. Uh, it's in North Carolina. And um, it's, it's right around the, the borderline of Winston-Salem. Um, and, and I won't go into all the details, but we, we were able to go to uh, this service. And uh, man, oh man, oh man. I mean, talk about miracles happening, right? Signs and wonders. And and so that all those things they they built my faith muscle. So like you can't you just can't talk me out of what I know that I know that I know right because um, I've seen too much I've experienced too much and so if you haven't experienced things like that then you got to go to places where those things are 
able to be, you're able to have those experiences, right? You got to look it up. You got to research. You got to find it. You got to seek it, right? You got to pray for it. You have to, it, it doesn't just necessarily happen. Sometimes you just got to put yourself in that environment to, for it to happen, right? So you, sometimes you got to go out of your way for it to happen. So that's, that's what I'm saying is you got to change your environment and get around places where you can see those types of things. Um, but, but number two, is you have to give yourselves opportunities to use your faith muscle, right? Like, like I said, if if you if you have a faith muscle, but you haven't strengthened it, then it starts to dwindle away, right? Um, I, I remember times where I would lift weights and work out, and I felt real good. And then there were many times where I, I didn't work out for months, right? Like I didn't touch a weight, I didn't do a push up, I didn't do anything, right? And I felt weak. I felt I could I could tell when I put a, a new shirt on. I was like, man, you know, this thing doesn't this thing doesn't wrap around my, around my arms the way it used to be, right? Uh, so I could I could tell the differences. Um, and so I'm only saying that to say that I, I stopped exercising that muscle. And and so you know they say if you uh, if if you how how does it go if you I forget how it goes, but basically the point is like if you stop using it, you lose it. If you if you stop using it, you lose it. That's how it goes. So 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 anyway, um, so exercise that faith muscle. Put yourself in positions where you exercise it, and 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 even if it's just on a certain level, right? Like you do something a little bit more. You did you do something risky, that's risky in your eyes, uh, but you can't have a whole lot of drawback drawback from it, and then do something riskier, do you do something riskier, or you, you know, you, you, you find just different moments where you can just put yourself out there to build that faith muscle, right, take more challenges, take on more risks, uh, you know, try to do more things, like, for instance, one thing that I do is, um, you know, I'll, I'll say yes, and then I'll try to figure it out later, you know, so, uh, even if I'm like terrified, like if someone says, hey, we want you to speak on stage in front of 10,000 people, I'm like, yep, I'll do it. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, shoot, what did I just say yes to? Right. So or or if someone says, hey, we want you to speak for this or we want you to do that and we want you to do this. I'm like, um, yes. OK, yep, I'll do it. Now, don't get me wrong. There is a time to say no. But but a lot of times we say no only because we're afraid of saying yes. Uh, we're afraid of what could happen versus just saying, hey, look, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And then you just figure it out. So um, I just think that those just those two things are so valuable in information uh, from a perspective of building your faith muscle, right? It's important that you build it, right? Um, so getting in the right environment, finding opportunities to build that faith muscle. How about this? Also, number three, I would say is finding people who have a greater faith muscle, right? That's important because if you're around someone long enough who has a great faith muscle, then you'll find yourself doing what they do because, hey, birds of a feather flock together. We do what we see other people do. Um, and what we see, if we see someone else do it continually and things seem to be working for them, then we we tend to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to make it happen. And you just got to do that. You got to find um, opportunity to find people that can strengthen your faith muscle. So when I was at that, that church, that pastor always strengthened my faith muscle because I saw him go all the way out. I saw him do things that were just on a different level. I'm like, man. I, I want what he has. I want I want that faith that he has, right? Um, and so I constantly would just get around people like that who just had this amazing faith, right? And so um, th those three things, I think if you just focus on those three, I could probably tell you a whole lot more. But if you just focus on those three things, I think you would be on your way, well on your way to building a strong faith muscle that no one can stop talk you out of it. Because, you know, listen, you know, we talked about in a few episodes ago, faith without works is dead, right? But you'll never do the works if you don't have the faith. So it, it does start with the faith, 
right? Because if you build up enough faith, then you'll do the works, then you'll do the activities, then you'll do the things that you need to do. So we got to start with the faith first. And sometimes we got to change our environment. Sometimes we just got to jump out there and, and do some things and build that faith muscle. Like, like for instance, what I mean by that is you, you can't just start with a 50 pound dumbbell. You got to start with a five or a 10 pound or a 20 pound, right? You got to start where you are and then keep working your way up. And the next thing you know, you can build, you can, you can lift the 80 pound dumbbell and then you just keep going higher and higher. So, um, so you, you take, give yourself opportunity to build that faith muscle and then find people who are, and, and not necessarily in that order, but find people who have a stronger faith muscle and watch them work. And then where you can mimic it, where you can duplicate it, where you can uh, find ways to do what they do so you can get what they got, right? So listen, this is episode 150 or 166. Can't believe we've had so many episodes. I really uh, just want to thank you guys. I, I can never thank you enough for just, uh, you know, constantly listening to the value that we hope to bring to you every single week. Uh, so we're going to continue to bring more. We're going to have more guests on the show. Um, we're going to have some exciting things happening in, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned and take charge, take care, and we'll see you all on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, Show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.